So I had been in a similar function for about 13 years, the first 13 years of my career at Pfizer, and had been very fortunate to have expansion of role, new challenges, um, but I was presented with the opportunity of going to a completely different part of the organization and doing a function that was new to me, learning a, a completely different part of our business that I had really not built an expertise in, um, but would require me to leverage skills that I had built up through my 13 years in an analytics-based role. And I was very stressful, and it took a lot of, of questioning and soul searching. Um, but I decided to hold my breath and jump in with both feet. And it turned out to be a really great opportunity. And it was something that gave me an opportunity to work with someone in the organization that I would not have had the opportunity to work with, somebody that was very well respected, um, not only within our organization, but in the industry overall. And he was just a phenomenal manager and gave me the room to learn and now to have that experience and to be able to really have demonstrated that I have learning agility, which is something that I I had always heard um, in my career, but when I was taking the safe route and staying in an area that I was very familiar with, didn't really have the opportunity to demonstrate that. And so, you know, were there bumps along the way? Yes. Was it, you know, smooth sailing and that I jumped in and, and hit it out of the park? No, um, but, but it really presented opportunities that I would never have had the opportunity to get exposed to and people that I would never have had the opportunity to work with. The thing that I see as I meet people, both men and women, um, working in the startup area is that you have to be confident. Um, and women, I think, very often are challenged as you read a lot about what's going on with the lean in um, and, and how women approach their careers. Uh, it tends to be something that, that we're challenged with if we, don't, if we feel that there's any um, area that we're not completely uh, well versed in or experienced in. Um, but when you are starting a new company, and you're trying to get people to invest in you and believe in your idea, no one is gonna believe you if you don't believe in yourself. And that has to come across loud and clear. And so whatever you can do to make sure that you come across and convey the confidence in yourself, the confidence in your idea, the confidence in where this can go, uh, the more success I think you'll have.